Well, Hurricane Lee is moving through the Caribbean and is making a turn northward with a possible track towards the northeast. We are watching this closely. There could be impacts here in New Hampshire. Vanessa Palangi with Homeland Security and Emergency Management joins us now live. Always good to see you. Let's jump right to the biggest question here. What is your greatest concern as we watch the storm? At this point, we are asking people to just be prepared as we would with any sort of bad weather whether it's flooding or a hurricane or a tropical storm or even power outages, just make sure that you're prepared, that you have a plan, you're staying informed, and that you have your emergency kit ready to go. The latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center on Lee shows that the storm is approaching the waters off New England potentially by Saturday morning. There's still some time here. What do you advise people to do right now in those days leading up to the potential storm hitting us? Make sure that you're speaking with your family, that everybody knows what the plan is if something is to occur, if you can't get to your house, if you need to evacuate, that all your family members know their roles and they know what to do. Also make sure that that emergency kit has at least 72 hours of supplies, whether it be medications, food, water, and if you have pets, make sure that you're including items for them as well. Vanessa, as you know, it has been one rainy summer around here and even some communities in the state cleaning up after flash flooding just last night. So with more rain that's on the way tomorrow, the potential of this storm reaching us by the weekend, we know that southern New Hampshire in particular could be at risk for more flooding. But what other areas of the state are you watching? We're still just watching the early parts of that hurricane coming up the coast. We've been in contact with the National Weather Service and are just keeping our eyes on what could happen with that hurricane. We've seen storm after storm cause major damage in our state. Alton, Antrim, Swansea, Barnstead, Madison, now the latest Nashua and Hollis. How are your people and resources holding up and have you ever seen a summer quite like this one? We continue to stay in touch with our partners, whether they be local, state, or federal partners. We are in communication with those, those folks in the local communities to make sure that they have the resources that they need, whether it be through mutual aid or whether it's something that they may need to request from us. We will make sure that they have what they need. Vanessa Palangi, always a pleasure to see you, and thank you for your good work with Homeland Security and Emergency Management. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.